Okay, TB back here talking about water and stuff. What I was getting running up to here was the, the, my water bill, just for the, the drinking and the, and my water from my house, just to wash it, which is no good to drink. The, the city water, like I was saying, turns plum black before 30 days is up on the filter. You can't get one drop of water through. So my water bill cost of total for buying my water out and paying for the city for sewer and water, I pay a two sewer bills on the sewer deal and an other charge, whatever that is, some taxes and all, like all the rest people do. But anyway, here in town, it, it winds up costing me by buying water at Walmart or wherever for the cheapest water I can get. And that stuff winds up costing me around 100, 125 a month for total for the water. That's drinking water and the water I pay the city. So that's why I want a well. That's why I'd like to get a good well. Now you can drill, you have a drilled well here in town, but you can't have an open dug, I'm told. And if I, if I decide to hook my well water to the house, I've got to disconnect from the city. Now whether they'll let me use the sewer line uh, to run my uh, sewer out of, I don't know. And if they don't, and I find good water and I have plenty of it, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of this rule of water because if I've got a good well that there's nothing wrong with when I have it tested before I ever buy the pumps and all that, I will take a sample with a well bucket, which I still have. Somebody's got off with my pitcher pump. I used to have a nice pitcher pump, but it left here. Somebody needed it more than I did. But anyway, it's gone. But i still got my well bucket. What I'll do after I get my well drilled, if I get water, there's the if, if I get water, I will take a sample of it, take it to the agriculture, and I'll have it checked, or even a swimming pool place, have it checked to see what all's in the water. If it's good, clean water, then I can use it for drinking. Put a filter on it, and it'll be just fine. You know, you might have to filter a little. What I do when I put in a well, I've done it before, I get the four inch pipe, and I drill some holes in the bottom 10 foot or 20 foot of it, because most likely down towards the bottom of your, of your well is where your water's going to come in at. And then, you know, I drill about a hole, I guess a three-quarter three quarter holes big enough so the water can get in there. And then I drop gravel, clean gravel, just well, clean as you can get. Drop some gravel down in the bottom of it and, and fill it up about a hole, I don't know, four to six, eight inches of gravel on the bottom. Uh, anyhow, to you, as much until you get something in there to filter your water through. Because we know that when water flows through the rocks, it always cleans up and filters the water. And that helps to clean your water up. It'll help filter it. Now then, if you've got a good filtering system, when it comes through, through to go into your water tank, before it goes into the water tank, then your water is clean to drink from that point on. Or you can put it on the other side, uh, coming from your kitchen faucet if you just want to filter your kitchen faucet out. You can use a small filter. But you'll have to change them about every 30 to 45 days that are change out the filter anyway inside them because they do get collect a lot of debris and stuff, you know, mud, water, and other chemicals, especially in the real water we get. But I don't intend to have much chemical use in my water. We might use a, a salt, rock salt, filter system on ours uh, if I do set it up. I know that this well will cost me around 2000 maybe three, after I get the filter system because I'm going to get a submergible pump. Your submergible pumps are a lot better than the above ground pump and I'm going to tell you why I like them over the above ground pump. But you better tie a good cable to it and fix it where if you lose it off the hose that you can get your pump back out of it. I'll tell you a little story about that before it all happened to me and Paul, one of our smurgable pumps. But they work good, they won't freeze and bust on you. That's why I like them, smurgable pump in the, in the well. And it's got a foot bow on it, so you don't pick up too much debris at the bottom, but you don't, have, you don't drop it right down to the very, very bottom. You just drop it over in there. And you want at least a 30 to 40 foot well, here, here anyway, uh, for a good chamber to hold water. Now, I should be able to hit the water within 15 to 20 feet here if I get into the, that vein my grandpa got into. Because he, like I said, he didn't go uh, 15 foot, and he said that he got 
he got water. I turn this down. It's starting to pop thicken up a little bit, but chilly is now. All right, hang on. I'll be right back. We I'm gonna. I'll probably have to make another video, but that's okay. Thanks for tuning in with TV and talking about water and stuff for survival.